Good morning everyone, it's The Wanderer and today I am back in Basingstoke and I have to say I could not have picked a better day for it. It is absolutely wet, windy, miserable. I'm going to get myself indoors very soon. Today's destination guys, we're off to a Weatherspoons to try out a full English breakfast. Now, originally I was going to be on my way to the Maidenhead Inn. Luckily I checked the menu to see what was available and the breakfast in Maidenhead Inn is not available. It's sold out right now. But luckily, you are never too far away from Weatherspoons, because roughly the same distance is a place called the Angel in Festival Place. So that is going to be my destination today. I've had a little bit of bad luck lately when it comes to full English breakfast, guys. Ever since I had that absolutely amazing one in Yates, which of course was just over five pounds, we had a John Lewis one, which was double the price. Awful. We went Harrods, quadruple the price. Awful. Weatherspoons is doing their full English breakfast for £5.90. So let's see if the budget boys can beat the big boys once again. And I have to say, I'm pretty confident that they will because Weatherspoons food I do usually like it, to be fair, but this is gonna be my first try at the breakfast. Anyway, I'm gonna to get to the Angel as quick as possible, just so I can go in and get dry. But if you do like this kind of stuff, guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more content on The Wanderer. And here we go, Weatherspoon's breakfast. Let's make a move. Well, I have to say, guys, the first initial vibes in this place, it is currently 20 to 11 in the morning, and this place is absolutely packed. Now, I think a big part of that is the January sales, and of course, £5.90 for a large breakfast. Now, I did pay an extra £1.30 to get a couple slices of black pudding. How do you guys feel about black pudding? Leave it in the comments down below. I know uh, some people hear the words and they just they just wince. Oh, black pudding for me. It's honestly a personal highlight of a, of a full English breakfast. The large breakfast itself does consist, and you may have seen it on the menu yourself, but if you missed it, uh, two fried eggs, bacon, two sausage baked beans, three hash browns, a mushroom, two slices of uh, toast, and I've done the unthinkable today, guys. I've actually requested no toast. Usually I like to order it purely because I want to show you guys how the dish looks, like how it's meant to look. 
but I, if I'm not touching it, if I'm not eating it, you know, let, let's just not order it. I'm learning, guys, I'm learning. And there may be a few naysayers that say, you can't have a beer with your breakfast. I think at £1.99, I can. Cheers. Just while waiting for the food to arrive, guys. Now, some of you may have seen this. I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag now. I did leave a community post on my page the other day saying that my next video, I would go back to how it all began. And if you remember, the very first vlog I did on this channel, I went down to Scours Lane to watch Woodley United, but I didn't just go there to watch the football. I did it for my very first food review. And that, of course, was the 10 pound curry box. Now, I've seen a post on social media. I saw it a little while ago, actually. Basingstoke Town do an incredible looking burger, so I'm going to be having that today. I'm going to be going there for the 3pm kickoff at Winkleberry to try out this amazing looking, they call it the Stoke Burger. So that will be the vlog after this. So please subscribe if you haven't already, so we're going to see how that goes. Basingstoke Town, by the way, are absolutely flying as well, so hopefully we get to see a positive result, unlike the, uh, the Woodley game where we saw a very bad one. <laughs> anyway, let's wait for this large breakfast. then guys so it's arrived and I have to say looking how it is right in front of me right now I'm thinking for the seven pound 20 that it was 590 plus black pudding I think I'm getting my money's worth get your eyes on this I do have one minor thing though, obviously I've asked for no toast, but they've still given me the butter. Now, unless I want to butter my black pudding or my sausages, I mean, I don't really fancy doing that, but <laughs> I will pass, I'll leave the butter there, that's fine. Right, let's make a start then, guys. So we'll start off with, I think we're going to some beans first, so look a little bit on the... Nice, really good, solid beans. I'm not sure if they're Heinz there, that sort of barbecue punch at the end. I could be wrong, but they don't have the usual taste. Really nice though. Egg next, and I think we'll start with the just the white on its own. Can't go wrong with that. Really solid egg. Now let's just go all into the yolk. Looks runny enough on the inside. Oh man, I mean again, you can't go wrong with an egg. That was perfect, juicy, really good flavor. Okay, a bit of hash brown now. Looks really flaky, nice and soft. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the end, so it looks. We'll see if it taste matches. Not a real, not a really huge amount of flavour there. I think it was okay. A little bit of crunch, but the inside quite plain. Mushroom looks juicy enough. Oh, oh yeah. That's a perfectly done mushroom. Nicely cooked, juicy, just not an, not too greasy. Really nice, really enjoyed that. Let's give the bacon a go. It looks really crispy. I don't know, would you say overdone? Overkill maybe? Oh. But I do not mind. Really crispy. Oh, the flavor. Oh my God. It was very, very charred but it enhanced the flavor for me. I think that's some of the best bacon that I've had on this channel. Really perfect, well done. Sausage now, have a look at the inside of that. Looks pretty solid, but see how it fares. Soft, decent flavor. Not the best, not the best, but I don't think you can complain. Right, black pudding. This could be hit or miss. This needs to be, this needs to be soft. Oh, seems pretty soft. Seems pretty soft to me. Right, here we go then. Black pudding time. I think we're on a winner here, guys. Really nice, soft. Little bit of crunch just on the edges. Nice flavor. 
again, say what you want about black pudding. I love it. And this is a really solid one. So all that's left now really then is to finish this, review it outside, and get ready for the football later on. Catch you in a bit. Alright then guys, so we just left the Angel, and I have to say, really nice looking pub in there, really vibrant, great atmosphere, really packed, as I say, for the time of the morning that it is, I think it was a really, really solid pub, but of course, you guys are here for the food review, now it all did sound very positive, I do have a couple little negative things to say about it though, and the first one would be for me, the beans. Flavour-wise, I think the beans were okay. I don't think they were Heinz. I think I mentioned uh, that they weren't Heinz. They had sort of like a sort of like a, a barbecue aftertaste. I could be wrong, but the heat, everything else on that plate was fine in its heat. The beans came out. Some of them lukewarm. Some of them quite cool. Uh, so mm, you know, I mean, and as I say, I think I said it in a previous review. I filmed the plate the exact same amount of time for all my reviews give or take a, a few seconds. I've had hot beans before, I've had cold beans before. The rest of the plate though, everything else was on it was hot. Not sure why the beans were, but it's a minor negative, you know. The star of the show was the bacon. Oh my word, that bacon was absolutely perfect. Now some of you guys might look at the bacon and say, that was really overdone, it was so crispy. Oh no, that's how it should be, guys. It had like a charred taste, it was crunchy. The flavour that was in there was just amazing. You took a bite, it just, oh, it just absorbed everything. It was honestly wonderful bacon. The black pudding was good too. It was nice to see black pudding come back. That was an additional £1.30, of course. Uh, so the breakfast itself, if you're not a black pudding fan, £5.90 for that large breakfast, I think is perfect. Obviously, you'd usually get a uh, toast with it, but I'm not a toast person, as you know, so I refuse the toast. But what was on the plate, I think, was absolutely sufficient huge amount and i'm full and i've got a burger coming up later because of course i'm going to be watching basingstoke town football club for the first time today really looking forward to that one and i hope you guys are too so if you do want to see that guys of course and you do like this kind of content don't forget to leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new click the bell to be notified when i upload content i really wish i picked a better day to do this but it can't be helped i'm the wanderer and uh bye for now